Alright. Here's a quick little look at blues music. I mean, um. I like to think of everything as kind of blues. Uh, all of music really is three main shades of, uh, of chords, the sets of notes that you can kind of work with. Um, let's just take C major, for example. Um, no sharps, no flats, no nothing. Just nice and boring. You can do this. And that's C major. Um, now, music starts off and you pick a key. We picked C, so it sounds like this. This is home. This is where you start. Whenever you're talking about your point, whenever you're talking about where you're at, this is where you're at. Now, the opposite of that, this is what's known as the one. The opposite of that is what's known as five. So you count five. One, two, three, four, five. That's G. And then you do that, and that's your five. And it's like one side, and then, then that's, there's your other side. all the fun you could have with two chords. I mean... Now, blues comes in where you have the third one, and that's the four. So we just start again, see? And we count four. One, two, three, four. Which is F. Now, now with those three combined, you can have a lot of fun. and all this other kind of stuff in there. But really, I've, like, if you think about it, C. If you mess with those chords a little bit, you get E, uh, in C major, there's also an E minor in there. There's also kind of a G. Um, there's also an A minor, C, E. So all those are still kind of one-ish. And then uh, four, you have F. And if you use every single note, and you kind of switch maybe one, maybe two, you still end up with kind of a four-ish kind of feel. So F, there's a D minor, there's your A minor again, um, and then you got uh, your five, which is G. And you can just mess around with these three kind of shades. 
and you can kind of just keep going around and just messing with it. Um, I'll just mess around with 1, 4, and 5, and then switching what 1 means to either C instead of C. Now you have A minor and E minor. That's your one, three ones. Your three fours are F, D minor, and A minor again. And then your G is G major, E minor, and what's known as B diminished, uh, which kind of means, uh, I just always take that as a seventh. When you're going to do the diminished, eh, just make it a seventh. Sounds close enough. Um, and, uh, yeah. That's your pretty much your chords that you're looking at. And you could take that in any single kind of key. Um, Your right hand, you can do two things very easily. Two very simple scales that if you memorize and learn them every single key, you can kind of just dick around and it'll be great. Um, your first one is your blues scale, which... Uh, I should probably do a longer thing on that. And the other one is your pentatonic scale. Which I should do another one on that. Um, but if you learn those two kind of things, and then you, if you learn how the chords work, and you learn how the scales work, then it's just a matter of kind of starting to figure out how they go together. Um, and you can do a lot more weird shit. Um, I like to think of, uh, every single note is up for grabs at all times um but you want to keep to those kind of keys of where if you're playing a c chord you want to kind of end up somewhere in your melody being c-ish you could do the which sounds really weird I always kind of end up back at home. Um, and you can do all those. kind of keep your minds on kind of what's the available notes when the chord's there, you can kind of just go to town. Um... So that'll 
little bit of that blues right here. missing that major third of it and the blues scale you to e you lose that so i like to add in the blues with the pentatonic so we got the blues scale right here and we got the pentatonic right here you add them together you get a whole bunch of notes Basically, don't get this note and that note. Um, but even that, you could pull away if you really wanted to. and see, uh, show you guys everything. Um, I'm going to play it in F, and we're going to do That's All Right Mama, uh, an old, old uh, uh, rockabilly bluesy kind of thing. That's 